Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Deepak Vadhwa and uh, now in this interview session we are with the candidate who secured 62 marks in the pre-examination and uh, he was able to qualify IBS AF examination in his second attempt. I want to know his strategy so that you guys or those who are appearing in the examination for first or second time you guys can use his strategy to qualify the final examination or say pre means an interview so before i start alekhyo uh, i would like to congratulate you for qualifying ibps af examination thank you so much sir and i will say sorry because uh, your name is in bengali i just asked it was alekho right alekho yes sir alekho fine okay uh, alekho uh, first of all just tell me something about yourself okay good evening sir my name is alekho jana and i hail from howrah west bengal and I did my graduation in BSc Agriculture from Dehradun. Uh, this is my this has been my second attempt in IBPS AFO exam, and uh, I finally got selected at Punjab National Bank as an agricultural field officer. Okay, so uh, first year not qualified, then second year finally qualified. So once you come to know about the results, so what was your uh, feelings or emotion or how you were feeling at that time when you come to know that you qualified AFO in Punjab National Bank? Sir, at, initially I could not believe. Uh, first of all, it was uh, cleared. The, I cleared the AFO and uh, also it was Punjab National Bank. And uh, then I when my parents got the news, they tried at first and then they started to distribute sweets among the neighbors. My All the relatives are very happy, neighbors, all my friends, every people are happy. So it's a very special moment for me. So you become an officer and your neighbors are also happy? Yes, sir. Wow, but it's not happening in North India. If someone will come to know that it's the guy has become officer, so neighbors will feel jealous with that. <laughs> yes, maybe, sir. But my neighbors are very happy. Okay, uh, so uh, we will start with the strategy part. So in case of strategy, I want to know what was your strategy for the pre, mains and interview? Uh, sir, in the first attempt, I could not clear the cutoff, final cutoff by just by 0 0.94 marks and got into the reserve list. And uh, then I realized that what mistakes I uh, did in my first attempt, that was for mains, I uh, I was not confident about one source. Uh, some people are give, were giving me advice, just uh, uh, take this course or take these notes, uh, study as much as you can. But in the second attempt, I could understand that that is totally false. Uh, we should have to rely on only one notes, whichever it is. It may be of ACC or whichever it is. So, and so I... I uh, after my first attempt, uh, I used to study only ACC notes only, and 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 the, for the prelims, I was I did not prepare a lot. I just wrote uh, eight to ten mocks before prelims exam and ended up getting sixty two marks in the prelims. And uh, for mains, if you are asking, then I used to wake wake up uh, very early at morning five or five thirty a.m. and then used to uh, prepare my two to do list of the day. And then used to study the difficult subjects at the morning and then move on to the easy subjects. And I could not study one subject subject for a long time. So I generally used to study half an hour or for one hour for each subject, then used to take breaks and then move on to the next subject. So and in the evening, I could not study a lot. And uh, that's why in the evening, I, I just uh, attempt mocks and analyze the mocks. Okay, so means you are an early morning person. Yes, sir. Okay, you got 62 marks in the pre-examination and the actual cutoff was just 51. I'm saying just 51 because you have 62 marks. So, how many mock tests you attempted for this year? For pre-examination? 8, 8 to 10 mocks. 8 to 10 mocks? Yes, sir. In whole year? Yes, sir. Please don't say this. Yes, sir. Before prelims exam only, I, uh, I just... Uh, wrote 8 to 10 mocks and go for the exam. And how are you so sure or how are you so confident about the uh, that you are taking only 8 to 10 mocks and you secured 62 marks? So is there any uh, uh, preparation in the background or in the previous year or something like that? No, actually uh, the, for the prelims part, I was very confident about English. I am good, good at, in English and quants also. 
and for the reasoning i used to solve some puzzles and seating arrangements and i could realize that we should not do the whole paper like in english uh, i i i could attempt all the questions in the english section so i i i have no problem in english and in the quants i used to focus on simplification dis or some uh, selected topics and in reasoning also some syllogism uh, some line line based seating arrangements or some uh, selected topics only and i know i knew that by attempting those selected topics i could end up ended up 65 or even more than uh, 65 wow but the yes sir this seems very interesting someone who is sitting in front of me saying that he secured 62 marks by just attempting 8 to 10 mocks because i am recording so many uh, other experience session and people are giving me message or feedback that they have attempted 60 mock tests 80 mock tests 100 mock tests and someone who is saying i'm very confident with 8 to 10 only and secured 62 marks very well done moving forward uh, pre is perfect you are already perfect in pre part what was your strategy for the mains examination sir so as i told i relied on one notes only that is acc notes and as acc notes are very comprehensive and dot and i don't think that after reading acc books uh, people don't need any other books and if they study other books also uh, i think they should rely on one notes only and whatever i have done that study one notes revise it multiple times and i used to watch the lectures of acc uh i was weak in some subjects like genetics and biotechnology so especially naman ma'am uh, uh, helped me a lot and her lectures and uh, he, she she used to clear the concepts uh, very much and with very patience she used to clear our smallest doubts also and uh, the minor subjects also very important subject like animal husbandry fisheries you also cleared the uh, concepts very much so i uh, i just i i build the confidence uh, build the confidence and build the con- uh, con- build the uh, concept by those subjects by u- using acc materials only and i used to practice mocks and attempt uh, quizzes on telegram channels that's how i prepared thank you so much and uh, about interview first of all tell me what was the language of your interview bengali or english both english and bengal bilingual Okay, perfect. So, how you prepared for interview, and what was your actual experience, sir? For interview, I was not that, uh, that much tensed because I have ample, uh, I have given ample num- num- number of interviews in my life. I even uh, gave I am Ahmedabad interview also during my CAT preparation. Wow. Uh, so, I was not tensed. Uh, in the first attempt, I scored sixteen point four marks in interview, and this year fifteen point six. Uh, those uh, that also with very less preparation i just start studied basic banking terminologies provided by acc and also studied the current news like uh, budget and some important schemes on thank you so much uh, i would like to deliver a message to my viewers the one who is sitting in front of me or any time if you see someone speaking very confidently 8 to 10 mock test and uh, just by attempting few session he was able to secure good marks in the interview so it's not that person is confident the reality is that person is having hard work of so many years and that hard work is giving him or her confidence like i was not knowing about him that he has given interview in the iim also so he was preparing for the cat examination he is also preparing for af examination so cat level is comparatively more than ibps af for pre so this is why he is very confident so guys please make sure don't take his feedback negatively like you are also planning to attempt a to 10 mock test so if you have a good background if you are uh, strong enough to qualify the pre examination you can go with the a to 10 mock test only but if you are starting from zero or from B, basic obviously you need a lot of practice like he has done in the past okay i like how your voice is so confident you are clear whatever whatever i'm asking you are like ha ah, ho gaya ho gaya i attempted this like that okay perfect thank you so much but uh, i can also understand that pain when you mentioned you were in reserve list whenever a student used to send me that screenshot of reserve list i used to ask i used to say them 
the instead of reserve instead of reserve list they simply mentioned that you are fail in the examination fail is better than reserve list the reason is ibps used to clear reserve list in, on 31st march now you cannot wait for the result of reserve list even you cannot prepare with that confused mindset so it is very difficult situation to continue now those who are in reserve list this year or those who are not qualified but they are planning to start again in the next year what will be your message to especially those student who will be preparing for second third or maybe more than third year uh, sir actually i my uh, advice will be that don't rely on uh, reserve list as i was in reserve list and I, I did not get job through reserve list in the third at the thirty first March also. So do not care, de rely on reserve list. Consider it as a failure, and do do not see. I do not see failure as a failure. Rather, it as a uh, motivation or to uh, get rid of the weakness, whichever you have done, whichever you have. Uh, so you can understand the weakness uh, for the for that attempt. For which you have, uh, you are not able to clear the final cutoff. So study confidently. Do not get panic. If you work harder, harder, and with consistency, you will get selected uh, in the next year. Thank you so much. Your line was very impressive. मुझे एक डायलॉग याद आ रहा है हिंदी मूवी का मैं हिंदी में बोलता हूँ उसे मैंने किसी मूवी में सुना था उसमें उस पर्सन ने बोला कि सर हम गरीब इंसान हैं हम कभी हारते नहीं हम जीतते हैं या सीखते हैं सो फेलियर इज समथिंग विच इज नॉट फेलियर विच इज एक्चुअली लर्निंग नाउ यू आर लर्निंग वट वर द वीकनेस इज विच कैन बी इंप्रूव इन द नेक्स्ट ईयर एंड एक्जेक्टली आई एम टोटली एग्री विद योर पॉइंट ओके मूविंग टूअर्ड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन इन दिस टू इयर्स जर्नी यू आर हैविंग यू वॉज हैविंग यूर ओन स्ट्रैटेजी बट इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द डिफिकल्टीज प्रॉब्लम और स्ट्रगल सो वट वॉज द चैलेंजेस यू फेस इन दिस टू ईयर्स जर्नी ऑफ आई बी social anxiety at first social anxiety and sometimes i felt demotivated and isolated but i used to keep reminding myself of my goal and uh, started started my uh, and continued my preparation with consistency okay and now i think this is common with everyone feeling uh, nervous frustrated anxiety that's normal reason is you guys are working hard but number of vacancy is less so obviously that's quite normal that you will not qualify the exam so it's not compulsory that everyone will be able to qualify in the first attempt even everyone should try to qualify in the first attempt but if you are not qualifying that doesn't mean that you are weak because if vacancy will be more obviously more number of candidate will qualify but last year vacancies was very less and those who server was sending message i was conveying the same thing to them that this year vacancy i'm talking about last year this year vacancy was less this is why you are unable to qualify and you are among them who was not able to qualify just because of less just because of less number of vacancy but now in this year when vacancy was sufficient you are able to prove your talent okay aloko uh, thank you so much and uh, i must say that in last 2 uh, years whatever the struggle you have done now you are having the result of that struggle so enjoy your time be positive spread the positivity because i want to ask one more question if you want to answer initially you mentioned something that uh, someone was saying to study something different or there was negativity and you were also getting distracted so now once you qualify you realize each and everything that what was right and what was wrong so can you please tell me what was that you mentioned that someone was saying study something else or do like this yes sir some uh, some students say that uh, study these notes also study uh, two or three notes then you will able to con uh, clear the exam but it is totally wrong like i have seen the bookish question which are generally asked in the fo exams come only from one notes only so it's better to practice and revise that same notes again and again so uh, there is no need to study more and more notes don't overburden yourself that's it yeah but you need to revise more and more study Absolutely. whatever you want to and it's not like that you should study acc notes whatever you feel like these are good but you should revise them multiple times and practice questions that is very yeah, exactly quiz as well mock test yes sir Okay, Aloko. This was uh, something different <laughs> because your strategy about pre and interview was a little bit different. But the reason is you have good experience in the past or you have good practice in the past. 
I wish you all the best. The way you were struggling for your uh, future, now try to maintain the same struggle for the future of our farmers. I wish you all the best. Have a great time. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye, sir.